Can you split a bullet midair with an axe? And if you do, will the axe have saved your life? I sure hope so. But as always, we're gonna use high-speed cameras to investigate what that looks like and get some delicious high-speed footage. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. All right, we're starting today with a little friendly competition. We're gonna see who can split the bullet first by hand with a handgun, nine millimeter bullet. We're gonna use the beautiful Pit Viper. Yep, we brought out the Pit Viper because it's probably one of the nicest pistols. It's a yeah, good gun. Feels nice. Everything about it's beautiful. Taryn does a really good job. Not even really sure if we can do this. So we went with the high end pistol for the low end shooters to hopefully- Is that what we are? <laughs> to hopefully be able to pull this off. We've got some balloons. If we can hit this, That'll kind of tell us what's happening. And then we will answer the question, can Bob, Lumberjack Bob, save his own life? So thanks again, Ballistic Diamond Lab, for always sending out the best targets to shoot. I think we're gonna find out. If not, we're gonna be here all day. All day. I'm ready to be here all day. All right, let's load this up. Can I just... <sighs> all right, so up first, we're gonna use two balloons and a nine millimeter. And we're gonna see if we can actually split this thing by hand. It's a. That's a tough shot, but it's just for fun. If you like shooting and shooting sports management and the ballistics involved in all of this stuff, you can study it at Sonoran Desert Institute. We'll leave a link to SDI EDU in the description. Go check it out. They have tons of classes on ballistics, shooting sports management, like I said, all sorts of stuff. So just go do it. We're going to fire up the cameras and uh, see if either one of us can even do this. <laughs> this might just be an embarrassing day. That's true. <laughs> you saw the size of the axe head versus these bullets, right? Weapons hot. High speed ready? High speed is ready. Okay. No freaking way. <laughs> There's no way. I don't even get to try. <laughs> what? I wonder if one balloon popping cascaded over and whipped the other one. We gotta watch high speed. Let's see what happens. I'm <laughs> so angry right now. Muzzle exit. It's looking good. It's coming looking good. In. What? Coming in. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, look at that. No. <laughs> Fucking first try and an absolute perfect split. Gosh dang it. Let me save this. Make sure you save it. Yeah, I'm saving it right oh, now. Is... First try, are you kidding me? To be fair, you saved us hours of time. Yeah. I expected to be here forever. Gosh dang it. I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> so upon initial investigation, you can see the markings on both sides match. Like, dude. I think it was pretty much a dead yeah. center. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> that could not have been better. It really couldn't have. That was. I'm proud of that one. So how much of it was you and how much of it was the fact that it was a nice pit viper? Probably helps. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's put you behind it. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're, okay. We, we got the footage. Now it doesn't matter. You got no stress. All just, right. Just hit it. I'll give it a go. We use handguns and various firearms for personal protection from physical threats. But as we all know, as things get crazier out there, there's a little known thing called digital threats. And to get protection from that, you can hit up Aura. That's right, Adam. Did you know that the United States government purchases your personal information from companies called data brokers? I'm sure a lot of you have experienced if you were to Google your name or your email and realized your personal information is just out there for anyone to search, anyone to use for whatever reason they want. And these data brokers can sell your information to scammers, spammers, hackers, basically anybody that wants to use your information. And this information being sold to hackers can include not just your name, but your home address, your health records, your relatives information, the things you purchase, basically anything. There are a lot of companies out there looking for this information and willing to buy it at a moment's notice. Think of the spammers that try to call you basically every day, companies constantly trying to access your social media accounts, including the government. That's right, the federal government buys and uses your personal information without your permission. Things like your web traffic, the apps you use, Again, basically anything. That's why Adam and I have both been longtime users of Aura, which is the sponsor of today's video. The nice thing about Aura is they are constantly 24 seven monitoring the web, looking where your information is being picked up, who it's being sold by, and then requesting on your behalf that your information be removed from those lists. 
a really awesome byproduct of that is just how much less spam you get, how much less robo calls you get, and your information is now being removed from those lists that are accessed by hackers and scammers that are constantly trying to get into your social media accounts, trying to access your bank accounts, and so much more. With Aura, you also get credit monitoring, antivirus, VPN, parental controls, password management, identity theft monitoring and insurance, and so much more, all in one single app and at a very affordable price. A lot of you may already have some of these tools, but not having all of them is basically the same thing as locking your front doors, but leaving your back door wide open. We value our privacy and we value yours as well, which is why we've teamed up with Aura to create a custom URL, aura.com slash ballistic high speed to get yourself two weeks completely free, no obligations. We'll leave that link down in the description below so you can protect yourself from the physical threats and the digital threats. Now back to seeing if I make an absolute fool of myself in ultra high speed. Deep breath, there's no pressure. One bullet. One bullet. Okay. Ready on trigger. All right, eyes and ears? Yep. <gasps> what? Did you do it? What? WT3 and three, we got it, it's saved. No f***ing way. Clear. The scuff looks taller. There's no way I just did that. I never do anything. Dude, I think you did. I'm scared. I think you did it. I don't know, man. No Dude, way, no good. way. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. What? Yeah, buddy. Was that like just as clean as yours? I think so. Yours was slightly right, I was slightly left. Like by a millimeter at most. Yeah, Pit Viper is. Look at that. And you can see the lead separating from yeah. the copper. Freaking deluxe. Super. How did. I thought we were gonna be here all day. <laughs> that was his first try, too. And I don't even shoot guns on this channel, like ever. I think we hit the exact same spot. Yeah, so not only did you do it, and it was like identical to mine, it's like in the same spot. I mean, it, it looks a little taller. You can see like on the edge of it, there's a little bit of copper color. We hit within like two millimeters <laughs> of each other's spot. Yeah, buddy. Wow. Let's shoot some more stuff. Yeah. This uh, this seems almost too easy, let's but- see if, see if we can even do it I again. I feel like we used up our luck for the week. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Surprisingly, we've been able to actually do this a few times now. So we're gonna see what happens. Axe with a ballistic dummy lab head back here. It looks like the splits have been going far enough. Yeah. So the question is, can you use an axe to defend yourself? Let's load one more up. That's oh, just so smooth. And let's see if we can do this. All right. What do you think, glancing? I think it just glanced away from him. Well, at least a glancing blow still missed him. Yep. Take two. Whew. Same thing. <laughs> so I'm consistent. High speed's good? Yep. Okay. Whew. There we go. Pretty sure that was it. Yep. Damn. It sounds different too, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Oh, that cleared him by a mile. Absolutely. It split it in half, and then because the copper jacket comes off, we basically get four bullets. Yeah. We get four projectiles for the price of one. Look how clean that split is. You can see the rifling spin just before impact. That's so good. I have never seen that in my life. Okay, that looks like CGI. Like, look how soft it looks. It looks gushy. It really does, yeah. You can see the copper keeps some momentum going, so after it splits, it kind of inverts outwards, whereas the lead just like rock solid right, stays. Yeah. So if you like watch the front lip, see how it peels up. That's just so cool that like once it's split in half, they just immediately separate. Could that have been any more center? No. No. <laughs> That's a thumbnail right there. 
I've seen bullets split on knives and axes and stuff, but a frame rate like that from the top perspective, never seen it. Nice. Good shooting, dude. I'm gonna watch this in the studio many times. <laughs> when it's yeah. on the big screen. All right, and if you guys didn't know, over on our Patreon, we always like to throw in a little extra goodie here and there each video. We're gonna throw in an extra shot. So if you wanna see these two crushed sodas get crushed by a bullet split in half, hop over to Patreon. Other tiers, some of them you can get merch. There's all sorts of cool stuff going on over there. One of the few videos that Bob survived. He survived. A little bit of a letdown in that regard, but what freaking delicious high-speed footage that was. I think this is his like third or fourth episode. Yeah, he's, he's the one that got punched in the face from the ceramic. That's what it was, yeah. Which if you haven't seen that, go watch your previous he's episode. He's a trooper. Kind of want to step it up to rifle caliber sometime. Yep, we've Maybe. got the, uh, the perfect device for it. We haven't released that yet though. Yes. It's coming soon. Got some stuff coming. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We are sort of getting to a million subscribers. We're over halfway. <laughs> We're chugging. We're getting there. So thanks to all of you that do subscribe. And as we said earlier, Patreon is starting to get some exclusive footage over there. Just little bonus clips, nothing too crazy. So if you want to support us, that's a great way to do it. Buy some merch over on Bunker Branding. Don't forget about our wonderful sponsors for today's episode, SDI and Aura, which help us bring you this wonderful footage. I'm just freaking happy I split a bullet. That was freaking I shot one time and I split one bullet. I'm <laughs> done. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home now. Nope, other than that, um, you might wanna move your camera. Oh, if you're doing one of those things. All right, watch out, Bob, good luck. Yeah, good luck, Bob. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's still alive, get him. <laughs> <laughs>